This one's going to be on News RSS ticker. Basically, it's what you see at the bottom here. So it just scrolls across, uh, you know, the recent news from the RSS. Uh, you can use any RSS you want, um, but let me show you some customization that you can do. Because by default, it looks really ugly, and I'll show you here. So I just right-click on here, and we're going to go to Edit, and then go to Preference. Uh, what you want is, you know, the delay time. Uh, I think 10 milliseconds, you know, is perfect right here. Uh, the other stuff you can do is the background color. I just use um, you know black and white, but you can use whatever color you want. Other things is um, you see what it says right here, the top and bottom. If you want it the, the top, you just click on top here, right, and let's apply this. And there you go. You have this uh, scrolling across here. Now when you do the bottom, let's click at the bottom here. You see it does grab your uh your full resolution, but if we apply it, it doesn't really work because it goes off it. So what you want to do if you want to use the bottom is minus 20 from your uh, current resolution, right? So 50 minus 20 will be um 30. And then we apply it and now it's visible again, okay. So if it's not visible, minus 20 is what I recommend. Other things here, uh, you can do like transparency. If you want it more transparent, just change this. Other stuff right here, just leave it alone. What I recommend over here is uncheck this RSS description because you only want to see the title and, and that's it. You don't want to see the description, you know. Uh, the other stuff here, so if you're not using like, um, well, it depends what browser you're using, but uh, I'm using Chromium browser. If you have Firefox, just type in Firefox or whatever you're using, like Midori or whatever. Okay. Uh, they do have a clock, but it's not really necessary because your system already have a stupid clock, you know. Um, so I put none here, and this is the customized uh, colors for the clock. So we're not using any, so we don't need to do anything there. And that's really all you gotta do in here for, um, you know, the changes. So let's get to the RSS itself. Okay, so let's apply this and let's hit OK. Uh, so the other stuff you can do here, so let's right click on here. And they do have the controls if you want to speed it up, speed it down, pause, whatever. Um, in the files, this is where you uh, add your RSS feed. They, they allow you to use your text file, but usually just this one will work. So here, open RSS feed. And they do have some by default, so some of these are the default, right? So if I want to change it to, I don't know, maybe Yahoo fin Finance here, and just hit OK. Oh, I guess that didn't work. Let's try another one. Um, which one is this? Let's go with BBC Sports. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> and you see that it scrolls the um, the RSS that it pulls from there, just the title, because we're not using the description or anything. And if you ever want to read it, all you gotta do is click on it, and it open with your default browser, right? Um, let's open another one. Let's say this one. So you see how this is how it works. Uh, if you want to get your own RSS, let's get uh, for example, maybe use my blog or something. There you go. If you want to add your own RSS in, uh, what you can do is there's this little orange button on the page or somewhere. All you gotta do is click on it, and they should say add a more RSS. Let's click on the RSS here, and we're gonna copy this feed link here. So, right click, copy link address, and let's just close out of that. Close out of this too, and right click back on here, and we're gonna go into the same place. And here, you just add the, the new link at the bottom here, okay. So, let us remove this part at the beginning. And there you go, this is my blog. All you gotta do is now is just click OK. And there you go, you see it uh, shows my RSS feed, the video um, that I made last time here. 
um, <clears throat> so you can still open it if you want let's say I click on here this is docs here this is the subcast I made last time so you get the idea the thing that I don't um, or I wish they have on this one is that um, you know it only works with one RSS feed if they have you know they actually let you combine it with different ones uh, that would be great but it's only one RSS feed uh, and that's it other thing is that it's only visible on you know one workspace so you see it's visible here if I switch over to a different workspace it's not visible right it's not at the bottom here uh, so to do this or to fix this I guess let me give you an example what the hell is the shortcut for that um, I think it's called w. there you go um, toggle sticky this is a uh, sh shift control C so if you want to put this sticky on all the uh, workspace let me see here shift control C all right let me see here. oops what the hell there you go now you just hit the high key and now it will be visible on all the workspace so if I switch over here switch down right you get the idea it's visible on all the workspace um, so that's how you would fix that so like I said it works but not on you know many RSS feed which is uh, pretty lame and it doesn't show on all your workspaces so you're gonna have to use something like compass or something to uh, make it sticky and it will be visible in all your workspace that's pretty much it and if you want to install it <coughs> I believe is in your repositories so let's see here I think it's called news just news let me see here yeah it's just called news here this is the one All right. just install that and you'll have this and just customize it like the, the way I said it before that's it for this one